Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Yakuza Kiwami 2 with your boy Kalagor Gaming and you know how we do things around here. I'm not sure why Kiryu is looking down like that. Is there something on the floor fam? No. Listen man, this episode right here, we have a sub story right here that I want to take care of and then we're going to do the main storyline. I promise. Wait, what? Oh, it's that damn... Okay, we are scouring this place clean man. You let me know. If y'all see it, this wasn't here before. Or it was. Come on. Ah! Success. Now let's see what we can do with this storyline or sub story right here. Who's my guy? Is it you? Hey, something wrong? <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm just pooped. I bet you'll feel better if you eat well and make sure you get eight hours of sleep a night. Uh, believe me, man. I sleep like a log. But I guess my appetite's been pretty low lately. If only there was some kind of nutrient drink for me. Well, I got stacks and stacks of energy drinks. How about you take this, uh, Staminian light, you know what I mean? You start slow, and then you work your way up to the heavier stuff. Kids, don't take my advice. <laughs> I think this is just what you need. Wait, that's... Oh, thank you, man, thank you! Glug, 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 glug. Huh? I... I feel like Popeye. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm... I'm alive again! And it's all because of you! I can't thank you enough, man! Don't mention it, dog. Oh. Well, that was easy. See? It's the type of stuff that I would cut out. But, damn it, we were here. It's all good. Now, we have done every single side quest available to us up to chapter um, 5 here. So, 41 out of 76, we're doing good, we're doing great. Let's head to Serena. But before that, before that, let's take a trick back together, man, so you can see some more of this beautiful town. We should go ahead and grab. Oh, there you go. Well done, you! We should go ahead and stop at a food place because. I'm damaged! Let's see. There should be a restaurant down here. There should be a couple of restaurants that I have to hit up and get the um, bonus for completing them, but whatever. This time around, we're just gonna do the closest one, alright? We're doing pretty well as far as experience goes, we're doing pretty well as far as uh, skills go. So I'm not too fussed about exploring new places now. I better not be full though. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm starving, dude. Okay, so let's see. I haven't eaten this. I haven't eaten this. Let's eat this right here. There you go. Oh, shit. I shall come back for your sirloin, sir. <laughs> uh, let's go. 11k like nothing. All oh, that experience. Beautiful. And now, my thank you. Ah, I said, I said, thank you. <laughs> Let's uh, make our way towards Serena. And that would be uh, quite a trick. So, you know what? I'll see you guys over there. All right, and here we are at Serena. Let's see what we got. ジュニジを過ぎたわよ。同時ま第五が一時にあなたの迎えを待ってるんじゃないの？何のんびりしてんのよ。行かなくていいの？なあ。
お前は怖くないのか何が隠された自分の過去を調べることだどうしてそんなこと聞くの実はな俺の両親は登場会に殺されたんだえ一1年前に知った両親を手にかけたのは俺をこの道に導いてくれた風間慎太郎というおやさんだったそれがさっき言ってたあなたの過去なのね俺は風間のおやさんを本当の親と思って育ってきたから許すことができただがあんたはどうだ私だったら両親を殺した人間を知ったらそれがたとえ誰であっても許すことはできないと思う正直怖いわ過去を知るのってでもいいのそれが私が選んだ道だからそうかなら俺を利用すればいい俺に張り付いて登場界を探れそれがあんたの過去を探る近道だったらな本気なのあなた登場界の人間だったんじゃないのそんなこと言ってもいいの俺は極道だった自分を誇りに思っちゃいないもしあなたが関係してたらそん時は迷わず俺に向かって引き金を引けばいいあんたはその相手を許すつもりはないんだろうそうねそうするわどこへ行くんだ仕事よ仕事あなたの身辺保護さあ行くわよ Interesting. Chapter Six Schemes. ああ、あれから一年だ。あの時は、伊達さんにはお世話になりました。いや、こっちこそ、さやのことで世話になった。さや俺の一人娘だ。さやちゃん、お元気ですか毎日楽しそうに美容院の専門学校に通ってる。そらよかった。しかし、初めて会った時はチンピラみたいだったが。店長らしくなったもんだいやまだまだ勉強することがたくさんありますいらっしゃいませおお、久しぶりだなこちら俺の昔の先輩で警視庁の河原さんだあんたが和樹さんかよろしくな警視庁よろしくお願いします不愛想なおっさん二人で押しかけて悪かったないいえところで今日はどんなご用件でお前だけに話があるんだあ,あ俺つまみを用意してきますお話とは今から1時間後の午前1時
ここへ捜査陣がガサ入れに来るえどうしてうちの店にここだけじゃないめぼしい風俗店飲み屋カジノがターゲットだ何かあったんですかこの前のミレニアムタワーの爆破だ確かな情報によるとどうやら外国人の組織が欲しいらしい外国人の組織あれだけ派手にやられりゃ警視庁のメンツは丸つぶれだそこでだ400人の捜査人を動員して不法滞在の外国人を一網打尽にするって作戦だでもこの店には不法滞在の外国人なんて一人もいませんよ不衛法にいろいろ引っかかったことがあんだろうが早いとこ店閉めねえとしばらく営業できなくなるぞええまあでもどうしてそんな重要な情報を私に1年前この店には迷惑をかけたそのお詫びだそうだったんですかいや伊達さん河原さん本当にありがとうございます<音声>さあこれでやつが組織の人間なら仲間にすぐに知らせに行くはずだ。俺には信じられねえヤツが海外組織の一員だなんてなあれだけのことをやらかした組織の一員だ簡単には見破られやしねえさやつはみんな警戒すんだろういつまでもここにいたら不自然だろうまだ上がらねえぜやつがどう動くか何ほら来た行くぞまことあちょっとどうしたんですか伊達さんわざパッケージボブ、you're a fucking liar, by the way, man. The bigger question is if I open up the map right now, am I gonna be bombarded with new sub stories? Ooh, two, three, four. Not too bad. Alright. Let's do them. Let's do them! Especially this one. This one's close by. What you mean? Hey! If it isn't Kiryu-san! Uh. Yuya, it's been a while, hasn't it? Good to see you. Hi! Yeah, likewise. I just wish it was under better circumstances.、Mm. Why? What's wrong? Hi. Oh, it's Kazuki. He's, uh. Kazuki? He's okay, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know actually. Datasan came by the club for the first time in at least a year, and we were all stoked to see him, but. Something must have gone wrong, cause Kazuki went running out of the club. Nani. All because of Datasan? What could have happened?、Mm. I didn't want to pry, but he was with another detective, I think. Oi. You know where Datasan is now? He ran out too. He might have even been chasing after Kazuki.、Mm. This does sound pretty odd.、Mm. Look, I know you're worried about this, but don't you think this amount of building things should be the real priority here?、Uh. You're right. Yuya will catch up soon. 
If anything comes up in the meantime, though, just give me a call. Hi. All right, we'll do, boss. Hmm, intriguing. Don't tell me what my real priority is. My real priority is these sub stories. Yeah, me. Let's go. Should be one real close by. Is this the guy? Sup, man? Nah. Yo, 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 what's up, my boy? Mm. Excuse me. Didn't mean to holler at you, man. The name is Michael Naoya. The most banging hip hop artist on the raw streets of Kamarucho. Onegai. Think I could bother our brother to listen to my new mix? Shit's gonna be lit. But I wanna make sure it's got soul too, yeah, you know I mean? You ready for the sickest flow to hit your ear holes, bro? Uh, sure, I'll give it a listen. <laughs> Hip hop. I feel like I've heard Haruka mention that genre once or twice. I guess it wouldn't hurt to know what's popular nowadays. Uh. Sure, I'll give it a listen. <laughs> <laughs> Word up, brother. It's time to start the flow. Check it. The name is DJ Michael, and I'm here to say. Oh my God. I got medieval on your ass. <laughs> Give it to me straight, bro. I can take it. That was fucking trash juice, dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, shit, man. Shit, man. Cool. Your pen is not sharp, my guy. You should probably find something else to do with your life. Oh. Yeah, I know. I've known for a while that my rap game wasn't up to snuff, but I didn't want to accept it. Real talk, I've been thinking of dropping off the music scene altogether. So what's plan B? Guess I should really go through with it, huh? Maybe I'll go work on my family's grape farm or something. I'd be better off picking grapes than spitting rhymes. Here, I don't even need this shit anymore. You can have it, man. Uh. Th thanks, man. It's a fucking coaster. Well, later! <laughs> what? <clears throat> what can I possibly do with the CD? Maybe the guys over at Stardust can use it. Yeah, to fucking repel customers. Head to Stardust. Alright. I was just there. It's pretty close by. It's not like they shut the club down or anything. I can still, you know, pursue this sub story. It should be fine. Where is Stardust? Exactly. Shit. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I swear to God. Shit! Fuck. I want that weapon. What is that? A conduit? Come here, bro. You beat him so hard, money popped out of him. Alright. Stardust. Yuya, relax. What the hell? You? You're his dad, right? Excuse me, you there, may I have a word? I am but a humble writer hoping to compose my magnum opus set in the savage streets of Kamarucho. But I like inspiration. You got writer's block, huh? You seem to be a man of the world. Would you have anything of note? Something that bears the anguished cries of our nation's youth? I do have that horrible rap CD. It's possible those cries would be a little too anguished for this guy though. Well... I did just get this CD from a kid who seemed pretty unhappy. I can't say I would recommend it though. A CD you say? That would be perfect. I have yet to upgrade to them MP3 players. You know what? You know what? Forget it. 
It's really not worth the trouble. No, 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 please! I must know what the youth of this era think of the rampant corruption in a city! If you insist. But don't blame me for the pain in your ears later, aight? Ah, this blank disc's modest exterior surely conceals the incredible might held within. Not for the true test. I shall hear it! What are you doing out in public like this? <coughs> what? What is this? Nanny. Wait, hey, hey, are you okay? <sighs> <sighs> this is quite a marvelous shock indeed. Every fiber of my being is letting out a scream of excruciating pain. I feel as though my skin will slow off my body. I had no idea song could eat away at my soul in such a manner. Is this the hollowness the youth of today feel? That's not the response I was expecting. I shall channel these emotions directly into my masterpiece. Please, if you give me the CD, I will give you this pen in exchange. Oh, I see what type of quest line this is. You really liked it? <laughs> Not at all! And yet, it is perfect. Fare thee well! <laughs> so, we're going to need to find someone who needs a pen. People are into the strangest things. Hmm. Maybe the clerk over at Ibiza will know how much this fountain pen is worth. You got me running all over the shop. Alright, let's go. Uh, best way to do it would be... Um, this way? And then... Make a right towards the south. And Ibisu is right there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. What you want? Hey, wait, 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 wait! Mm. Who are you? <laughs> Sorry, this might sound weird, but... Some old fart just gave you a fountain pen by Stardust, right? Uh. That's right. Can I have it? Please? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, sorry. Let me back up a bit. My name is Cowardin. I'm a cosplayer. I'm going gothic lolly at my next con, but I need something to, you know, draw attention to my chest. You know, to stand out. Uh. That's when I saw that pen. It's big, stylish, and perfectly deep black. It will be the finishing touch in the neckline of my costume. Please, I need that pen. Fine, if you need it that badly, you can have it. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pics from this con are gonna be everywhere. Wait, if you saw me all the way down at Stardust, why didn't you just stop me there? A big burly Yakuza looking guy like you? I was just too scared, so I just had to wait until you turn into a fucking dark alley, you dumb motherfucker you. But seeing you head toward the pawn shop, I guess I found my courage. I'm glad you're so nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, here, why don't you take these boots as a trade? But I don't want to carry these around town. <laughs> Thanks, mister. See ya. Boy. Hey, 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 what the fuck am I gonna do with these? She's gone. Hmm. I don't really want Haruka wearing these. Maybe Mama over at Earth Angel can find them at home. God damn it, game. Well, this is gonna be labeled as a main side episode because it's definitely. Oh, look, we have another one. I might initiate that as well, but we'll see where this one leads me. Let's go. Oh, great, man. Phenomenal. What the hell? This is the fucking worst. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 uh. I'm stuck. Fuck! God damn it. They gave me the old pincer attack. Fine, let's go. Y'all motherfuckers best not hurt homegirl. Are we good? Great. Nothing. Let's go into Earth Angel. If we can find it. Is it here? Yes. 
What's going on? What happened in here? Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys look pretty down. What's wrong? I lost my shoe. Sounds like this lady is really down on her luck. Yep, the name Suzuki. I lost something. <laughs> something real important, you know. Mm. My mom made me this scarf when I was little, you see, and just for me. And then she passed away immediately after. <sighs> and after I got blackout drunk last night, the scarf was gone when I woke up. Some fucking daughter I am. <laughs> That was the only thing you had to remember your mom by? All I know is that I was over in the children's park last night, and that's it. They seem busy. Maybe I'll come back later. But, what the hell? Hey, hey you! Sorry. If you find my scarf here, yeah, you bring it back, okay, buddy? I'ma fuck you up. It ought to be somewhere near Children's Park. I search high and low, but maybe you'll have better luck. Do me a solid fella. Uh. Alright, I'll bring I'll bring you the scarf back if I find it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck am I getting tangled into here? Uh. A scowdy, please. Or cowardy. Or whatever your name is. Okay. So, children's park. Is it? Oh my goodness gracious me. Well, let's go. Considering there's a taxi here, let's do it. What? Oh, come on. You are having a fucking giggle, you. Oh, there's another one. I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it. Relax. Uh, let's go this one here. Yeah? I'll come back for the other shiny. Let's see what we got. Found your scarf. Hey, you mind telling me where you got that scarf? Huh? You I'm my stuff, man? Well, you can't have it. An angel gave me the scarf. Mm -hmm. An angel. I found her passed out drunk on a bench right here, so I put a box over her to keep her warm, and she gave me the scarf by way of thanks. Huh? I ain't ashamed to wear pink, loud and proud, sucker. Besides, it's warm and it smells like an angel. Okay, but here's the problem. The angel needs her shit back. She was blackout drunk last night and she doesn't even remember giving it to you. She's looking for it now, actually. Huh? Nanny! But she handed it to me. No take backs. If you want the scarf, you gotta give me something in return. Look, man, I got these boots for you. You can wear these loud and proud too. What do you want? <laughs> something warm. Something that smells like a woman. Uh huh. <laughs> of course not. Why would he? Hey, I noticed you're not wearing any shoes. Would you trade me the scarf for these boots? Boots? I guess that ain't so bad. <laughs> Wait. These are women's boots. I can smell her. Yeah, and uh, the girl who gave them to me was a young cosplayer, so. Oh. Deal! I'll trade my soul for these babies. <laughs> How did you get into these? So warm and comfy, and the scent of a woman is wafting up toward me with every step. <laughs> I'm gonna be living my best life, buddy. Glad they're working out for you. And thanks for the scarf. Alright, I should get this scarf back to the woman at Earth Angel. Hopefully she's still there. Yes, there you go. Uh, let's see. Get me to... Where is... There it is. So 
So, there's my shiny. Beautiful. All right, Earth Angel, here we come. Oh no. Shit. Hey, is this your scarf? That's it? What did you find? It? Well, you probably don't want to know. Thanks all the same, man. I'll never forget what you did for me here tonight. Here, let me thank you. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't cheap. Are you sure you want to give it to me? What if you come by looking for it tomorrow? <laughs> oh, don't sweat it, you. I got it from an ex, so I'll be glad to get rid of it, actually. Pawn it off for all I care. Thanks. Eh? Oh, I'm so happy I have my scarf back. Sorry, mama. Time for a celebrity drink. Wait! Why does my shit smell like an old man? None you. Haven't you drunk enough? Come on, Mama. What the fuck? I never imagined anything would come out of that terrible CD. Eh, maybe I should give hip hop another chance. Maybe you should. Sweet. All right. In our conquest to finish every sub story, I couldn't help but to notice that we had another another quest giver right to our right here. Hey, you there, man? This is gonna sound mad weird, but. Would you mind taking this videotape off my hands? Mm. What? Why? Please, man, just do a guy a solid, alright? Dirty video. Is it dirty on the exterior or dirty on the inside? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I don't want this shit, bitch. I don't need a dog. That shit is pure e erotica. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Y y you should totally watch that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're cool. Just watch it. Yeah. Right? Anyway, bye. Boy. Hey, come back here. You just vanished into thin air. What in the world? And what do I do with this shit? He want me to watch it, but this is suspicious as hell. So where do we watch it, though? All right. There's my answer. Or you might want to uh, fall back. Welcome, sir. Are you looking to watch some videos? Let me see. Sure. Alright, what should I watch? Oh shit, dude, we can watch a whole bunch of shit. Let's see, which one of these sound the most... My girlfriend is a demon sounds pretty enticing, actually. Or... You know, the mask ripper, batshit crazy. Dirty video. Okay, let's go with my girlfriend is a demon and we'll set the bar there. Let's go with this one. I'm not gonna watch all of these. You, got, you ain't gotta lean into... There you go. He's into it. Don't jerk your head. What are you doing? Oh my god. What the... F
All right, your second video is gonna be the dirty video. Let's go with this one. What the fuck was all that about? And whoever that woman was, I'm sufficiently creeped out, and I'm done here. Uh, don't judge me. So, I guess we gotta go to the children's park now? Sir, not another step. Mm -hmm. And who are you? Ah, I apologize for taking such a harsh tone, but I'm a medium, one who deals in restless spirits. Uh. And the reason I stopped you, well, it appears as though something evil has taken a hold of you. Something evil? Ah. Uh. Indeed! There is a mass of powerful and ominous energy looming just beyond your right shoulder. A woman, perhaps. Have you done anything to upset any spirits lately, particularly that of a woman? Mm. Now that you mention it... Ah, you've told me enough already. I do apologize, but that spirit is incredibly deadly. We must exercise it with all the haste! How dangerous can a spirit really be? You really want to find out? I recommend immediate exorcism. Uh-huh. I don't wanna. God damn it. Hey, you're the guy I gave the video to, and you watched it, huh? You again. Yeah, I did. But what exactly was that? It was creepy. <laughs> Wait, you really watched it? Thanks, man! I'm finally free from that foul curse. Oi. Curse? What are you talking about? Stop pumping your fist, bitch. <laughs> I'm free! Free! Spirits. Exorcisms. Curses. What is going on here? We're just gonna have to beat this guy up. I reckon. Where did he want to meet up, you say? Oh my goodness. Alright. Well then. All right, all the way south. Let's go. Wait! Isn't that the woman from the video? Boy. Hey, come back here. Where did she go? Where did she go? <laughs> Hello again, my spiritually stained friend. If we don't exercise that demon soon, I fear it may cause irreversible damage. Have you prepared the money? If so, we must begin the ritual at once. Ah, uh, let's do it. I'll punch my money out of you later. Wonderful! Let us commence. Whoa! Fnya! Sex <laughs> What? <laughs> Soundbite. The deed is done. It appears the ritual was a success. Cool. Wait, that's it? Ah. Yes, the horror that walked beside you is no more. But now that the deathless have tasted you, you will be susceptible to their influence forevermore. I fear it's only a matter of time before another twisted spirit latches on. But do not fear, I can assist you there. For a simple subscription of... How exactly? With the stone. It's a magic crystal powerful enough to ward off even the most malicious scepters. Stones this large are unimaginably rare. Really? Just so. Dude.
<laughs> oh. There's something wrong. Over there. It's a real ghost! Stop! Don't come any closer! What are you talking about? Don't mediums deal with ghosts all the time? I'm not a fucking real medium, man! Look, man, I was just in it for the cash. I never thought I'd actually start seeing ghosts. I'm out of here! And take your damn money, too. What about your magic stone? Hey, you keep that shit, too. It's a stupid rock, pal. I'm done with this shit. Boy. I dropped that tape. Maybe it was cursed after all. That's not a good sign, is it? I'll tell you what it is a sign of, though. It is the sign of us concluding our episode for this time around. Next episode, it looks like we have one... Uh, two... Could that be right? Two sub-stories. Well, they might have follow-up ones, so we really never know, but... We got our work cut out for us. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I'm out of here. Love y'all and do. Say...